So now let's move towards map and reduce. So we'll start with map. First of all, why we will need map in this example? We can create a problem, right? So sometimes we don't solve the problem, we create them and then solve it. So the problem which we have here is, once I got the even numbers, I want to find the double of it. So something like this. So when we got four, I want eight. Two should be four, six should be 12, and eight should be eight, uh, 16. But this is what I want. And to do that, what I can do is I can say doubles. This is the list I want. And of course, this will return a list. But the function which I'm going to use is map. So before we used filter because we were filtering. Now we have to use map. Even map takes two parameters. One is the function and second are the values on which it will work or the treble. So the values are evens, right? No, we are not doing it on nums. We are doing it on evens because we want to double only those values which are even. But what should be the function here? It's, 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 it's actually simple. You will just say double it. Simple, right? But we don't have this function. So let's create one. So I will just remove all these things now. We know how that works. So let's define a function called double it. Now, how many parameters double it will take? Only one, because we are focusing on one value at a time. So here we'll say n. And what do you mean by double it? It's actually n into two. So return n into two. And what it will do is map will take one value from even. It will apply double it, which will double the value and then add it to the list. Okay, so you got four values, you will get four output. Uh, just to prove, I will say evens. And let's have one more print. And here we can have doubles. So we'll just clear this and run. So you can see we got all the events and we got all the doubles. Perfect. So this is working, right? So you can see 4, 8, 2, 4, 6, 12, and 8, 16. But then again, instead of using this syntax, we can use lambda. So we can directly replace this double it with lambda and just be with me. So we'll say lambda. I hope you're good with this. We get n colon n into 2. Now, once you get used to it, you can write the code, right? So you don't need this thing now. And let's see if this works with, our, with that. And it works. So this is how you do filter. This is how you do map. In fact, you can write everything in one place. So you can just take out the entire stuff and replace even. So that will become one big line. <laughs> and that will be fun. Uh, but anyway, this is how you do it. But now it's time to go for reduce. Now, why I need reduce here? Maybe I want to find the sum of all the doubles. So you got 8, 4, 12, 16. So if you want to uh, double it, or if you want to sum it, it should be 40, if I'm not wrong. So 8 plus 12, 20, 4 plus 16, 20, 20. Yeah. So we got, we, we need output as 40. So in that case, you will say, I want to find a sum of all the values. Now you don't need a list here. You just need a single value. So you will not say list. What you will say is reduce. And in this reduce, you have to again pass two things. But before we do that, you can see reduce when we wrote it, we now are getting that yellow zigzag stuff. It's because the function is not defined. But then filter was defined, map was defined. Even reduce is defined, but in some other module. So we just have to import that. So I will say from func tools, this is where the reduce stays. So I will say import reduce. And now you can see there's no problem. And it, we have to pass two things. The second parameter we are sure, which is doubles. What about the first parameter? Now this is a function where you specify what to do with those values. How will you reduce it? In that case, you can say a function called summit. Now you can create that function here. So you can say sum it, right? And you will return. But then how many parameters you are going to accept here? See, logically, when you add two numbers, you need two numbers, right? How will you add one number? And that's why if you try to add this, it will say, okay, eight plus four, which is 12, 12 plus 12, 24, 24 plus 16, 40. That's how it will do it. But at one time, it will it is taking two values. So that means summit will take two values and it is going to add those two values. Simple. And let's see if that works, but we have to also print it. So I will print the total comma sum. And now let's see if this works. Let's run this. And you can see we got evens, you got doubles and you got 40. Perfect, right? Okay, but then I don't want to use summit here. I want to use lambda. So let's try it. So I will say lambda. And we know lambda can take two parameters or multiple parameters. So I will say a comma b and then a plus b. So we don't need to write this particular function. And that's how, my friend, we use 
filter map and reduce and that's how you do it cool uh, i hope you liked it see you in the next part